Hey everyone, welcome back to the fourth day of Bakemas 2019, and today we are going to make a lemon blueberry bread. Now this bread has lots of fresh blueberries, grated lemon zest, and when we take this bread out of the oven, we are going to brush this with the hot lemon glaze, which adds a nice lemon flavor. Plus it keeps the bread wonderfully moist. So to begin with, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, and you will need a loaf pan. Lightly butter it uh, like I am doing or you can spray it with a non-stick spray, just the sides and the bottom of the pan. This is a small piece of parchment paper that I am keeping at the bottom of the pan. So now for our wet ingredients, uh, the first thing we need is half a cup of butter. Now. Uh, this is uh, uh, at room temperature and I prefer using unsalted butter but you could also use uh, the salted and if you use the salted butter you should leave the salt uh, in the recipe and uh, if you have an electric stand mixer or you could also use an electric hand mixer like I am going to use here so now I am going to beat this for about a minute or so uh, just to soften the butter like until it is a bit creamy let's scrape the sides and the bottom of the pan now our butter is soft and creamy uh, next into this I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of sugar and now I'm going to beat this uh, on medium high speed till the butter and sugar are light and fluffy and I think that will take maybe two to three minutes. And now I am going to add into this one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then we are going to add two eggs. Uh, at room temperature and we'll add one at a time and now I'm going to beat this first egg and then I'll add the second one so here goes the second egg and beat for some more time Scrape the sides and the bottom once again and beat for some more time. Now if your batter looks a little curdled, you can see mine is, see? Don't worry, like once we add the dry ingredients, that will uh, smooth this out. Now for our dry ingredients, in a separate bowl I have uh, added one and a half cup of all-purpose flour and to that I am going to add one teaspoon of baking powder and quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to uh, whisk that together. Now you can sift it also, but here I prefer to just whisk it with my wire whisk. And then we need a zest of one lemon. Uh, zest is the outer skin uh, of a lemon. Uh, now I have this hand grater, you could also use your 
box grater or any other grater that you have at home and make sure you wash your lemons thoroughly before you grate them you want to make sure that you get all the dirt off the lemon now the outer skin is uh, where most of the lemon flavor is that's why we add the zest you will uh, just need to mix it in your dry ingredients and then you will need 1 cup of fresh blueberries so take about a, a tablespoon or two of your flour and uh, just a, a toss your blueberries in the flour now i can't guarantee it but uh, this does seem to help to prevent them from sinking at the bottom of your bread because blueberries are heavy sometimes they sink at the bottom of the bread but we can try this method and let's see and hope for the best now we also need half a cup of milk uh, what i'm going to do is add the flour in three additions and alternate that with the milk in two additions now let's add about third of the flour mixture in the wet ingredients and mix this on a low speed because we don't want uh, the flour to come up uh, you know to our face now add uh, half of the milk keep on beating now more of the flour but before that let's scrape the sides here goes the half of the flour beat it again add the remaining milk scrape it once again scraping is also a very important step because some of the flour can just stick to the sides and the bottom and here goes all of the remaining flour so let's beat it for some more time Okay. Uh, so it's almost mixed in so and then I'm going to add the blueberries and whatever flour is on the bottom of this small bowl and now just use your spatula and gently fold in now you don't want to uh, break the blueberries as uh, then they will stain your batter all blue try to get them evenly distributed in the batter and then just pour it into uh, our pan now this one is very similar to a pound cake so just uh, smoothen the top with the back of a spoon or you can use an offset spatula like i'm using and uh, into the oven after this and it takes anywhere depending on your oven uh, some sometime between 55 to 60 minutes and you want it to be nice uh, golden brown and a toothpick inserted in the center will come out clean 
so into the oven it goes okay so our lemon blueberry bread is now done and as you can see it has a beautiful golden brown color with the blueberries at the top of the bread so now we are going to make our lemon glaze so in a, a small bowl i have 2 tablespoons of sugar and to that i'm going to add 1 tablespoon of freshly squeezed lemon juice uh, just stir this uh, together and uh, then i'm just going to pop this in a microwave and it may be uh, for 20 to 30 seconds just until the sugar is melted uh okay so this looks great just give it a good stir and then uh take a, a bamboo skewer here and just pierce the top of your lemon bread and in this way uh, when we brush the hot lemon glaze uh, some of it will seep into the bread and this is uh, going to add such a nice lemon flavor and it will really keep the bread nice and moist Okay so now with a pastry brush I'm just going to brush the top of the bread and if you don't have a pastry brush it's okay you can use a spoon also So beautiful uh, berries peeking through the top looking very beautiful So now let this uh, cool for at least 20 to 30 minutes in the pan itself and then you can remove it and let it cool the rest of the way. So it's been half an hour and I've taken the bread out of the pan. Let me just cut a slice and show it to you. The bread is still warm from inside. See, beautiful color and beautiful blueberries peeping out. such a soft and you know moist bread this is see very soft so let me cut few more slices and show you the steam is uh, coming out of the bread it's still warm still after half an hour see i really like the blueberries uh, in the bread and even uh, you will like the flavor also of the blueberries so do try this uh, recipe during your christmas vacations and prepare something nice for your guests and your family so i hope you like this video if you like it do not forget to give it a big thumbs up so until next time this is dipali from dipaliori.com Happy baking